Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stay standing for a moment of silence. Good morning, Cavs. Today is Tuesday, November 14th, 2023. I'm Sam Weiss. Today, we're going to take a look at this year's girls tennis team and then talk to some representatives about the blood drive. But first, we got to get through these announcements. The Media Center would like to help you boost your vocabulary power by sharing an ACT vocabulary word of the day. Today's word of the day is discrepancy, which means to lack a similarity between two or more facts. For example, I found a discrepancy between what I saw on social media and what I read in the newspaper. Students, if you need help with your EOC, need to make up tardy hours, or need some seat time, you can attend our virtual tutoring sessions after school. These sessions are held from Monday to Thursday from 5 to 6 p.m. You have the flexibility to attend every day or just on the days you need assistance. Attention Military Connected Students. Mr. Palmer, along with Mr. Jones, will facilitate the first of a series of monthly group slash meetings for you. The first group will be held today in the main conference room, A126, and the second group will be right before winter break. The topics of discussion slash teaching will be, but not limited to, deployments, mental health and wellness, study skills, relationships, and coping skills. Pizza and snacks will be provided as an incentive for participation. There will be a brief agenda of specific information to be shared during each session, but we hope the groups will be very interactive and encourage a high level of student ownership and participation. Your voice matters, so tell us what's on your mind and what the group topic should be. All participants must be eligible for MFLC services and have a signed consent form on file with Mr. Palmer. Please share and spread the word to all Military Connected students. And feel free to contact Mr. Palmer in C Hall, room C-115, with any questions regarding eligibility or any other concerns you may have. We're looking forward to a great kickoff today. Join PCA Theater and myself for a night of sweets and suspense. A dessert bar followed by a murder mystery in r &E's District Auditorium, November 15th and 16th. The, the dessert bar is at 6 p.m. and the show starts at 7. Tickets can be purchased by scanning the QR code on the poster or at the door. The Hosta Club and Star Club will be collecting toiletries for the homeless until December 8th, 2023. If you can help and donate items, 
then they can be dropped off in the media center or Miss Smith's room E107. RE Book Club, Convergence Media, NHS, and AVID are accepting sock donations for the Hope 365 Community Service Drive. Drop off locations include the Media Center, B206, B207, and S104. We appreciate your generosity and welcome your donations by Wednesday, December 13th. Calves. Our fall blood drive is Thursday, November 30th. If you are 16 or older, you can help save a life by, no by donating blood. This year, our goal is 58 pints, and with your help, we can do it. Please sign up today. QR codes and links can be found posted around the school in Ms. Cherry's email and on social media. If you are 16, please pick up a consent form from Mrs. Flew Allen's room, S102. Attention calves, check out a book from the Media Center during the month of November and receive a special bookmark DIY craft kit. The craft kits will be given away while supplies last, so make sure you don't miss out. Today, we would like to celebrate our Cavalier Student of the Week. This student earned CCR status by scoring well on the Win Career Assessment. Congratulations to Naya Cogman. You think you can do well on the Win exam? See Mr. Sumter to talk about opportunities to take the win. The girls' tennis program just got restarted this year, and they already started over with a wonderful first season. Let's take a look. He's really nice, and he teaches us like a lot of stuff, and he's very patient when he uh, tells us what to do and is telling us, teaching us. And I learned a lot of things actually, uh, like bowling the ball and the correct way to grab the racket and many stuff of how to control the racket and the ball. About tennis, the impact that we can have uh, with young people, adults, and just society. Uh, it's a positive sport, it's a sport you can exercise and have great fellowship. Uh, one day and asked them to play. I used to play a lot of ping pong, so I took my ping pong game to the tennis. But when I moved to Beaufort, South Carolina, my tennis game really picked up. At least give uh, Richard Northeast an opportunity to, to use uh, my skills and talent here to develop and bring the Richard Northeast tennis program back up to par in terms of competitiveness, of also being able to compete in the classroom as well as compete outside of the classroom and try to encourage all of the students that come in contact with me on the tennis court to be productive citizens and be positive students and have a tremendous impact here at Richard and Northeast in the classroom and with their uh, fellow students. And that is one of the reasons I came to Richard and Northeast High School. Very nice, he pushes us to be our best, but he tells us to take our break, take care of ourselves first before coming to practice, put ourselves first, practice a second, he teaches us things like personal connections to help us learn how to actually play. My game plan for the girls tennis team is to continue to have them to work hard, stay positive, always feed themselves positive energy, and let them know that tennis is a game that you have to take your time and develop, build your confidence. The same thing in life, that you learn to be uh, positive with yourself always, and always, again, keep confidence and work on their game. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart and I appreciate the staff that came out and watched and was in a very positive and supportive role in encouraging our young uh, team to continue to compete and represent Richland Northeast High School. Follow through. That's the, one, that's the one thing he says to everybody. Make sure you follow through no matter what. Let's go over to the studio where we have Blood Drive representatives live in the studio. Good morning, Cavs. My name is Delaney Peck, and today I'm joined with Alyssa, Tammy, and Dee. Today, we're going to learn a little bit about the blood drive and how y'all can apply. So, how are y'all today? Good, how are you? I'm good. So, just to start off, what are y'all hoping to accomplish this year, and when is the blood drive? The blood drive this year is November 30th, and this year we're hoping to reach our 75 units, because last year we reached 55, which left us 14 in the nation, and this year we're hoping to gain up to 10th spot in the nation which is a good reach but we're hoping to be there um the blood drive does grant us a scholarship which would be obviously granted to one of our ib students 
Awesome. So how do kids prepare for this blood drive? Um, if you sign up, you can prepare by drinking a lot of water, making sure that you're getting an iron-rich diet. Especially if you have a deficiency, you should take a supplement. But the day of the blood drive, make sure you eat a really good breakfast and come in well-rested. Awesome. So how do these kids sign up for the blood drive? It's very pretty simple. We're going to be out here during lunches and like we have like pieces of paper giving out to kids to help them sign up. But like if you're 16 and under, you have to go to Ms. Fulan's classroom so that you can get like a consent form for your parents to sign and you can at that point come here and give your blood. Perfect. Well, thank you all for all that information. So y'all go give some blood. Remember, if you're 16 or under, go stop by Ms. Fulan's classroom. That's all we got for y'all today. Now back to Sam. Thanks, Delaney. Make sure to give blood this season. If you want to see some behind the scenes of our daily shows, make sure to also give us a follow on Instagram at RNATV. Well, that's all we have for the show today. I'm Sam Weiss. Stay safe, have fun, and remember, it's a great day to be a Cavalier.